I thought I was too fat to buy one of these. That's the truth. Intimidated to go into the boutique. I was intimidated by the price. I felt whenever I was trying them on that I didn't, I wasn't comfortable to try them on. It was almost as if, you can't afford this, but here you go. I was probably, if I'm completely honest, being a bit of a bag snob. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's talk about the 10 items or things that I wish I had bought sooner. 10 items or things that I now have in my life that are so good that I couldn't live without and I wish I had bought them and had them in my life sooner. These are no-brainers for me. This is gonna be a mixture of luxury and high street. I've already put out a video on the bags I wish I had bought sooner and I will link this above. And the first one of these is the inspiration behind this video and it is today's video sponsor. It is a sleep mask. As a migraine sufferer and somebody who is a light sleeper, I don't know why I didn't buy one of these sooner. And when Manta Sleep reached out to me and said, do you want to try one of our products? I said, yes, please, yes, I really, really do. Because I want to see if this helps me sleep and if this works for me. And what I did say to them though, is I have no idea if this is going to work. I don't know if a sleep mask is going to be for me or not. So I can't tell you that I'm going to make a video about this. And if it doesn't work, I'm not going to make a video about it. And they said, absolutely, wouldn't have it any other way. So I have had this sleep mask now for over two months and I've been wearing this sleep mask to see if I think that it helped me, to see if I think it's something that I would benefit from and I absolutely do. And a big part of that for me is because I'm a light sleeper and because of my migraines. I am not somebody who can function with no sleep. If I don't get a full night's sleep, I am grumpy, I am useless, I am not productive and this is where sleep comes in. I need sleep and this little thing has helped me greatly. If you are a migraine sufferer, you will know what light does to your eyes, to your head, to your sleep. It absolutely terrorizes a migraine sufferer. And the beauty of the Manta sleep masks is they are 100% blackout. So when I put this on, and I will put this on to give you all a giggle, but when I put this on, there is no light at all. It's 100% black. I can tell you that as soon as I put that on, it feels like relief. It feels like, your eyes are resting and they're not straining and that really, really works for me. Now I chose the silk mask because I'm vain <laughs> and it said it was anti-aging and we all know the benefits of sleep and it's breathable and it's very good for your skin and it doesn't clog your skin and it's great for wrinkles and that's why I chose the silk mask. They have a number of options and I kind of wish I had went for the cooling mask because cooling around your eyes really helps with headaches. They also have weighted masks. They have a side sleeper mask. They have a steam mask. They have a mask that you can put your Bluetooth in for sounds and they have masks that are going to suit everybody. They're also fully adjustable which is very important for me and I have found that this has helped me to relax quicker. It's helped me to fall into sleep quicker. Any of you have the same problems as I do either with headaches or sleeping or light sleepers, I think this has really, really benefited me. One of the things they're also trying to do is bring back the power of the nap and put out a kind of revolution against this hustle culture. For me and my job, it's very, very busy. So I cannot sit here and tell you I've been able to take an afternoon nap. No, no, no. But what I can tell you is I need to get away from my screen because I do get really bad eye strain and it impacts my headaches. So I have been taking this to work with me just even if I'm not getting a nap, if I can shut out the light even for 10 minutes in the middle of the day and rest my eyes from the screen, I have found that to be very, very beneficial. Now I'm gonna put this on and give you all a laugh. Now I've just put that on. I can't, I hope I'm looking in the right direction. I can't see you at all. Everything is completely and utterly blacked out. There is a little cone shape around the iPad so there's no pressure on my eyes. There's no pressure on my eyelashes. And that's important because I quite like my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna link their website down below in the description box so as you can check them out. I also have a discount code for you which is likely to be Amelia10. I will put it on the screen. I will link that down below in the description box as well. So if you do check them out, click through that link and use that code to get yourself 10% off and if you're someone like me at all sleep problems light sleep migraines this is definitely definitely worth trying number two and we'll skip over to the luxury side of the video and it is the Louis Vuitton agenda I know I talk about this a lot a bit like a broken record but it's fabulous for a stationery lover. I've always said, if you don't write things down, don't buy one waste of money. But for somebody who loves stationery, who loves to plan, who loves to organize, who loves highlighters and writing things out and putting lists and ticking them off, like look at my fabulous, oh, I, just I just love it. This is something that I didn't buy for a long time because I thought I have many notebooks, I have many agendas, I've always loved stationery and I don't need to spend 
around about 500 pounds, whatever they are now, on a Louis Vuitton agenda cover because it's a waste of money. <laughs> Should have bought it far, far, far sooner. It would have got it far cheaper before price increases. Would have had it in my life for longer. It just makes me happy. I take this thing everywhere. This even comes on weekends away with me. My husband will be like, are you going to work? No, but she comes too. So if I need to plan or if I just want to journal a bit or write things down or if there's something on my mind, I have this and it's just, I love it. I should have bought it so much sooner. It's definitely not a waste for me and it's one of my absolutely favourite Louis Vuitton pieces in my whole collection. Number three and we'll go back to being less glamorous and anything that I can find of these I will link down below in case you want to check them out for yourself and it is this steamer. Now I've talked about this before. This steamer is a life changer. This for me is an absolute life changer. I am not someone who likes to iron. I don't think anybody does but I really don't. I have an old shoulder injury. Ironing really really hurts me if I stand at the ironing board for too long. Also, I have some delicate fabrics. I still wear that lily silk silk shirt to death. And if you are steaming them, I don't have to iron them. It's quicker. If they get a little wrinkle, I'm not having to get the ironing board out, set it all up again, iron them. I just whip out my steamer. There's still water in it because it gets used that much. And I just go like this over the part of it that needs to be steamed. It's freshened up, it looks perfect. For delicate fabrics that you're worried about ironing, that you're worried about how you're dealing with them, I love this. I don't know why I didn't get a steamer earlier. For someone who likes clothes and fashion and fancy dancy things, why I didn't have a steamer earlier, I don't know, it's, it's ridiculous. Now, I didn't go for the cheapest one, I didn't go for the dearest one, I went for a kind of mid-range one. Mine is the T-Fall, XL Force and I have had no problems with this. I've used it on all sorts of fabrics. My husband has used it. We've even used it on coats if they just needed a little bit of a freshen up because we have dogs and things like that. I just, I love this. This is something that I absolutely should have had in this house a lot earlier. Number four, back to luxury, is the Louis Vuitton Volt and it's this little necklace here. I have it on with this Ideal necklace, Ideal earrings. Yes, I love them. I wear them all the time. They'll be linked in the description box in case you want to check them out. I also have this Ana Luisa chain on. I wear all three of these all the time. The Volt, I absolutely love. The reason why I didn't buy the Volt sooner was I could get my head around spending silly money on a handbag from Louis Vuitton, but I couldn't get my head around spending silly money on a fine jewellery necklace from Louis Vuitton. And that's why I didn't buy this earlier. I'd always loved the shape of it. The shape really intrigued me. It, my hair gets everywhere. The shape really did intrigue me. It's something that stood out to me. I thought it looked really, really well, but I just was put off by the price. How I ended up buying this was my pochette Matisse was faulty. I took that back, they exchanged it, and I got this instead. I should have bought it sooner. It's an absolute staple. I wear it every single day. It works really well with the stack. I just love it, and I should have got over that because bags, you can only use one at a time. This I wear every day. Should have bought it sooner. Number five, and I'm laughing because this is very unglamorous and I'm having to take off my foot as I sit in front of you and don't judge because mine are an RMS. I've had them for a while, but they are my Ugg slippers. I love these. I'm very attached to these. I will come home looking forward to taking my heels off and putting these on. My husband wouldn't say they're the sexiest thing in this house, but I don't care because I absolutely love them. I had always kind of not bought Ugg slippers because they're more expensive than say neck slippers. I should have bought these long, long time ago. I wear these daily. You can see mine are battered and bruised and tried and tested, but it's because they get daily use and I just wish I had pulled the trigger and bought this pair sooner. I have went through so many other pairs of cheaper slippers that are long gone and in the bin, that if I had just bought these, these are so comfortable, so next level comfortable. It's like, it's like walking on little clouds. I absolutely love them. And these Ugg slippers, I should have bought sooner. I'm putting them back on my feet because I like them to be there. And I'm gonna get a pair of these for my office because they're just, they're so good. Number six is the one bag that I am gonna sneak into this video and it's the Petite Mal. I love this. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because you're all sick hearing about her. She's fabulous. I now have three. I put this off because I thought it was going to be almost like a collector's piece. I thought it was going to be just a piece to have. I didn't think I would get that much use out of it. It's also very, very expensive. 
should have bought it much sooner, would have got it at a better price with the price increases and also would have had it in my collection to use. I look to use this bag, I love to use this bag. This bag is one of those bags that other bags have to reach that level because I feel so good wearing this, it makes me feel so good, it gives me such happiness that there's other bags that I think, well, you don't make me feel quite as good as that one, so should you be here? This is, this is absolutely, oh, one of my best ever purchases and I wish I'd bought it a lot sooner. Number seven, back to the high street side, is my All Saints leather jacket. I freaking love this thing. I absolutely love it. This is the All Saints leather jacket that's kind of famous. It's the one that they're known for. It's the one that a lot of people have. It has this quilting on the top of it. And I actually think this is getting better with age. I've had this now, I think, maybe three years, but I love it. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. I love how it goes with so much. I just think this is an absolute vibe all by itself. Why I didn't buy this sooner, I do know why and I'm going to tell you the honest truth. As you all know, if you've watched for a while, I've lost a bit of weight recently. I've been losing weight, but I have more weight to lose. I thought I was too fat to buy one of these. That's the truth. And I know I'm gonna get comments for that, but I'm just being completely honest with you. I thought that I was too big to buy one of these leather jackets. I thought it wouldn't suit me. I thought I would look bulky in it. I thought that it would just not work and I should have got over myself and went in and bought it. The one thing I will say, I got advice from the girl in the shop to size down in this because the leather does give and they do stretch. Absolutely love it and I should have got over myself, not let the negativity in my own brain dictate what I was going to do and bought this much sooner. Only other bag on this list for number eight is a Chanel mini in general. I'm not saying one specific one that I should have bought sooner, I'm just saying a Chanel mini. In the caviar, this is the first one that I ever bought. Why I didn't buy these sooner was I was a bit concerned about the price. I know I've caught up, but I was a bit concerned about the price. They're very hard to get. I was overwhelmed and almost uncomfortable going into a Chanel boutique. And again, yes, I know I've caught up, but this, a lot of this confidence in luxury shopping has come with age and maturity. When I was not even that much younger, I did feel uncomfortable and I felt like I didn't belong in luxury boutiques. I don't come from money. I felt like I was being stared at. I felt like I wasn't welcome. I think a lot of us have felt like that at some times and it put me off going in and looking at what I actually wanted to buy or what I was considering. And this is one of the things that tied into me not getting a Chanel mini for so long. I was intimidated to go into the boutique I was intimidated by the price, even though I had reached the point in my career where I could buy one. I felt whenever I was trying them on that I didn't, I wasn't comfortable to try them on. It was almost as if, you can't afford this, but here you go. Looking at me, feeling uncomfortable, and all of those reasons together put me off buying this bag because I just didn't feel comfortable to do it. And in the end, when I decided to go and buy my first Chanel Mini, I bought this from Fashion File in the US, the website, and I got it shipped over and I have never looked back. Luckily, it was in perfect condition. It was exactly as described. It was a decent enough price, especially compared to what you pay for them. Now, even at the time, it was a decent enough price and I should have just got the confidence, and I know that's easy to say, but I should have just got over it and went in and shopped and felt like, who are you to judge me? I can be here, I, I have a right to be here. It's a store for goodness sake. But that put me off buying one for a long time. So by the time I did buy them, hard to get, colors hard to get, more expensive, becoming more limited. Caviar, which is so usable, was about to be discontinued, which I obviously didn't know. And I wish I had got over myself and bought a Chanel Mini sooner. Number nine and the last on the high street or less luxury side of this list and it is my coach mini bag. Now confession time. When I bought this and before I'd bought this, when I did see these coming out, because of my collecting spending habits, I was probably, if I'm completely honest, being a bit of a bag snob and I was probably thinking why would I buy a coach bag because I'm not going to use the coach bag when I have a Chanel mini alternative or I'm not going to use the coach bag when I have a Louis Vuitton or whatever whatever and then this one came out and this is in the Sherling 
and I didn't want to spend Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton type money on a shirling bag because of the climate I live in. So I bought the coach one, absolutely love it, in this berry colour. Basically to get a shirling mini bag without that price tag. And then I had to slap myself around the head and think, who have you become? And seriously, lady, this is a fabulous, fabulous bag. And all of that nonsense in my mind about, well, you shouldn't buy a coach bag because you're not going to use that whenever you use this. And I used that Teddy Blake bag there. So I knew that I used bags that weren't at this level designer. But all that, oh, I'll use my Snell stick. Nonsense. I love this bag. I use this bag a lot. It is very, very, very good to have a bag in your collection for me that isn't as overtly designer as a Chanel one. This I'm very comfortable using. I love it. It is a mini bag, which I love. It fits my phone. It fits my card holder. It's something now that I regret having closed my mind to looking at this brand or other brands whenever there are great alternatives to these bags. These coach bags come in so many cool colours, so many cool colours, and that is what I am all about. My friend has one in a crushed gold that she had on when she was visiting not that long ago, and it's fabulous looking. It's such a fabulous fabric. These, There's so many great options in these that I should have looked at them sooner, and I should have looked at the colours, the options, the fabrics sooner. I definitely regret not buying this sooner, not having one of these in my collection sooner. They're such great bags, and I really just needed to hit myself a slap around the face. Okay, number 10 on my list of things I wish I had bought sooner, and I don't know why I didn't, and I can't live without, and it is the Nice Mini from Louis Vuitton. I love this, I absolutely love this. To me, this just gives me so much joy sitting in my dressing room. It looks like a little piece of Louis Vuitton heritage. It looks like a little mini trunk. It holds my makeup. I know when I've said before, this looks like a mess, but I know where everything is. Everything's in there. When I travel, I just flatten it down, zip it up and take it with me. And for me, the Nice Mini is a fabulous, fabulous Louis Vuitton piece. It's one of my absolute favourites. And I wish I'd had this in my collection sooner. I wish I'd had this sitting on my desk sooner. I wish I hadn't bought lots of different makeup bags thinking, you know, move to the next one. I haven't swapped out of this since I bought this. It stopped me having to look for other, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I wish I'd had this in my life sooner. So those are the 10 things that I have, luxury, high street, otherwise that I really regret not buying sooner. They're so good. I wish I had had these in my collection sooner, using them sooner. Thank you so much to Manta Sleep for sponsoring the first part of the video and gifting me that sleep mask, which genuinely has been so helpful for me with my headaches and my sleeping. I will leave their website down below in the description box. I will leave my discount code down below in the description box. And if you're a light sleeper or any of these issues, do check them out because you might just find this works for you and helps you get a better night's sleep, which I think makes me so much more productive, happy, and really a nicer person the next day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care, and I will see you again in the next one.